As hurricane season looms, communities brace for the potential devastation that often accompanies these natural disasters. Three, two, one. The NASA Tropics mission consists of four small CubeSats, with the first two launched from New Zealand and the rest to follow. These micro-satellites will create a constellation equipped with coffee cup-sized scanners to analyze hurricanes more rapidly than ever before. Former FEMA director Craig Fugate, who has vast experience in emergency preparation and response, discusses the significance of this mission. This is really important in the Pacific uh, where we don't do aircraft. Um, so, you know, it basically, you know, when you're in the Gulf Coast or Caribbean or the Atlantic, uh, once it gets close enough, they're going to be flying the aircraft. But without aircraft, it's a huge issue for the, uh, uh, the Pacific. The CubeSats will deliver hourly hurricane predictions, offering crucial information in regions lacking traditional hurricane tracking methods. Fugate highlights the advantages of CubeSats in improving forecasting where other tools fall short. You use this type of, of CubeSats and do better forecasting where we don't have a lot of the tools that we enjoy here uh, in the Caribbean, you know, Gulf of Mexico and the tropical Atlanta. For current hurricane forecasting, it can be hours between space satellite observations of a storm. There are special planes called hurricane hunters that fly into hurricanes to augment satellite observations. But even those flights are limited and leave gaps in the data where the storm isn't being scanned or investigated. The NASA Tropics mission has the technology to transform our approach to natural disasters with more frequent storm observations by these microsatellites. Fugate emphasizes that access to more data earlier on during these events can ultimately save lives and minimize damage. The goal is, is to ingest the information, the data, to feed the models, uh, use the tools to improve that and give people more lead time. This increased access to data enables emergency planners to make better informed decisions. However, even with the advances made by the new Tropics mission, human behavior can be as complex as weather forecasting. Fugate points out that despite the technology available, hundreds of people die preventable deaths when they drown in flooding instead of moving to higher ground. All of the things we've done to reduce this and these again, you know, when you look at of all the ways that people can lose their lives, these should have been the most preventable if we could have gotten people to move to higher ground. As climate change continues to impact our planet, investing in technologies like those developed by NASA is crucial. Fugate believes that the Tropics mission is a step toward a safer, more resilient world for future generations. So that could be that. You know, we, we have these things, we update them, and we do launches at the beginning of hurricane season for constellation to cover it. And maybe this gets to the point where other parts of the world are able to borrow this type of technology. Stage separation. If all goes according to plan with this mission, the data from the just launched satellites can be used to help forecast the current hurricane season. For my radar, I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.